All right, welcome to today's stream. I'm waiting for some feedback. Yeah, hey, I'm my sentient. So I'm gonna. Stream up it. I thought I would be working on it right now, but I haven't got the feedback, so. I'll just do a short stream. Meanwhile, hopefully it's not too hard today. And if I do get feedback, well, I'll have to kind of have to change back to it. So, but we see how, if we can get things done. All right. Let's see. You almost reached access. Okay. We're also getting in. Main problems all of the covered in Chai Towns. Okay. The cannons were large, very low ceiling. Quick scan, chat intensity was a map risk level. Okay. There's gonna be another. It's gonna be another um, graph thing, I think. Let, we'll see. Let's pipe the read input into print over task one. Now, what is the input? Read input file path to a list, an IO of list of list of ints read input uh, equals map uh, map. So this is a digit to a uh, read D. We just read it. Uh, we add it, make it into a list. Dot lines. We, uh, no, we map this over the lines. So we have to map this over read file. How's everyone doing today? Um, right, okay, so we have mapped this. We do want to map the map over the lines. And then this one we can say, how are we? I was up till two working on my thesis. But it is looking good but I'm waiting for feedback so we'll see if I have to fix it even more I don't think so but it will work out have you tried today's task okay so we got the risk level and uh, start on top left position your destination is bottom right position you can move diagonally now each position is the risk level, the total risk level is five. Add up the risk level of eight different entries that you enter. That is, don't count the risk level of your starting position unless you enter it, leaving it as no risk to your total. Your goal is to find a path with the lowest total risk. In this example, the path with the lowest total risk is highlighted here. What is the lowest total risk of any path from the bottom left to the bottom right? Okay. Wow, nice. Okay, so this is gonna be a uh, graph algorithm. Let's cheat a bit. Let's uh, let's look at what we did. For, what was it? Day. Day ten? No. Day nine. I think it was day nine. Let's see. Get day. I have another tool actually called Bat. L Haskell day nine day nine dot hs because I had this nice function to generate the neighbor list, right? Copy copy this. So task one. List of int to int. Task one nums equal where this is, uh, 
It's not as good, right? So how long did this one take you? Was it hard today or? Oh no. Okay. Let's see. What do we get for the end map? What was the type of the end map again? I need to import this one. I think it's uh, like a list of um, ints. And then a list of its neighbors. But I, I, need, it, I need the coordinates, right? Let's cat this. Cause I, I had a map with the coordinates as well. So I wanted the indexed one, right? Okay, so I just copy this one. I mean, it's not really copy paste if you're copying from yourself, right? We just don't want to be. We don't want to get <laughs> Okay, but uh, So this is indexed We add an index, okay, and then the end map yeah, Exactly, that's going to be uh, a list of list of ints with a list of ints and the LPs where um, so we don't need this one we don't need this one so I think I, I think the let's print the in map here uh, copy paste refactor and hello jello Oh, you got lost in the pathfinding all ago? Right. Let's uh, see what happens to us. Uh, GT 03 day 15 and time day 15. Okay, so this is the path. And uh, I think we can take the end map. And we can. Um, so I want to. Um, I want to make it an actual map. Okay, so uh, end map map is gonna be so you concat the end map Okay, um so then we get the uh this one now I want I want to mod modify it a bit. Okay, so uh so map so this is going to be a pair of so cohort comma value and ends right and I want this to be a cohort comma value comma neighbors. And then I want to do uh, map dot from list. Now we import a now. 
this is gonna be a map of int comma int to the uh, value and uh, for the neighbors here i actually just need the cohorts map in fst so now it's going to be a map uh okay so n map n map map all right so it's going to be a map unto of the values and the neighbors so one has a so value one and neighbor zero one zero zero. Okay, so the goal is nine comma nine. Okay. So let's write a BFS. Let's write here a type edge graph. I think we can probably use data dot graph here. Data dot data graph. Let's see. See what we have here. Graph from edges. Identical to graph from edges. So this takes a node. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, we can make this happen. So this is gonna be our uh so let's not have this. Uh, so we have this. We make this into not like this, but actually we make it into a V, comma C, and then a list of keys. I think there's a syntax error. So yeah, okay. So this end map map now is um, right. It's now a list of ints and a key and a JSON script. Okay. So we now import it as a graph. Oh my god. Graph. Oh my god. Graph. Import qualified data.graph as, as graph. So, uh, how does it work? We do graph from edges. We get the a graph we get the uh, so the node from vertex and vertex from key okay node from vertex vertex from key of graph dot graph from edges uh, and map map okay nice uh, so we have the, okay, so spanning forest, <laughs> okay, um, I wonder if there's like a way to um Okay, so does it actually help to have an actual graph? Let's look on Hugo. Um, okay, so here we have a BFS.
Okay, let's just uh, implement it then. Okay. So we will say BFS. Now, what is the type here? Uh, takes in a graph. It takes in whatever this one. Graph, comma. It takes in a... What is the type of graph from edges? Uh, or So this is ORT key. Okay, we're going to say ORT 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 VAL ORT key to uh, and then we take in the three functions as returned here. Uh, I don't think we need all of them. Let's just say or node. And then um, Okay, so we do this. And uh, okay, so breath first search starts um this is not actually breath first search. We're, we're implementing Dijkstra. Dijkstra. Which is just a breath first search with uh, a priority queue or something like that. Um, Dijkstra. And we take a key. And we take another key. And we return list of keys. Okay, let's see how do we do this. Jig, jig strap equals. Okay, we have the um, right. We we also get the graph, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. So graph, we get the uh, node from vertex and vertex from key. We get the uh, start and we get the goal. And we just maybe use the keys. Okay. Oh. Let's go. Uh, Dijkstra. Dijkstra. Oh my god, I wrote it wrong. Dijkstra. Dijkstra's algorithm. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we have the uh, create a vertex set Q for each vertex V in graph. Um, so we have the distance to we use to infinity and then we have the yeah the, the, the one and then we add it to Q and then we take the distance to the source I think we actually need a we need the num it's not enough to have the we had to have the num node here. Okay. Uh okay, so we get uh where V set equals Okay, now we're just uh, doing the Okay, this if we're only in the search pass, you can turn the search as line if if you can use target. Okay. Uh, so V set. So we have the. But well, this should be here, right? Let me check. Okay, it doesn't.
I don't think this works because this uses a custom craft definition. Okay. Let me check for feedback. So, uh, let's see, we have the vertices. Now wait, this is not the best way to do it, right? I think it's better to do it with a... Uh, Okay, priority queue, no. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, uh, uh, um, D from start. something else right we need like a semi group we do have a zero semi group okay we don't we need a it needs to be a monoid Okay, monoid, noid, something like that. Undefined. Okay, uh, set from list, B set. All right, I need to do. Actually, I don't need, this doesn't need to be a set. Okay, it can be a. Okay, so D from start is just the map empty. Uh, except, uh, Right, so we have the vertex set for each vertex that this. Okay, so this is actually a map dot singleton. Uh, okay, so this one here should actually be a vertex, and this should be a vertex. Map singleton a uh, start. Start empty. Okay, I think I need the uh, scoped type variables. Okay, um, how do I refer to the type of the node? Like, I think I, I can just have it inferred, but just doesn't know here what the type is yet. Okay, so let's just check. Um, Okay, so let's uh, let's write the loop. 
go uh, vert vertices uh, we okay go okay and then I need the current D right so go has type um, go starts with map dot singleton map dot singleton start map D now so go okay so okay go d from start is false ah uh, but this one actually doesn't give us the uh, the current path so we we need the d from we need to d from start and parent so the parent is going to be like this okay go d from start and Vertex in Q with min dist Q. Okay, I need the uh, graph vertices graph. No, okay, so this one is going to be like this. Okay. I think I'll think I'll do the priority queue version better. Yeah. So the distance from start is empty okay create vertex priority q q okay so for each vertex in the graph if v is not equal to source we set the distance to infinity and the previous to undefined so this is the dist and this is the parent okay and this is the pre q now we initialize it by saying um, uh, so we add it all with the priorities of infinity mm, okay now we need the set algorithm um, now we have the map so we so we have the distance and we have the parent Do we need to iterate over all the vertices every time? Okay, uh, let's just do that. Um, how do I efficiently find the minimum? Yeah, this is this is gonna be a, a bit of a mess, right? Go um dist okay dist parent 
and, and then I don't actually need these. I think I'll I have to start off these with the infinity or um Okay, so it starts with uh, off with this empty. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. Okay, so first we. We say that the Kermin is going to be um, data dot map data map. That's cool. I think we have like a find min function. Find min. That's a minimal key in the map. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, I think we have to do it the different way. So we're kind of using a priority queue. So this will be a map singleton empty and the list to start. So these are the ones that are, uh, um, it's not a map. So we find the less smallest one. Um, Because if there are multiple, we just have to, um, we just have to do it again. Okay, so current min is going to be current min. Okay, and, um, no, it's going to be find min. This is going to be delete and find min a uh, dist. Dist. Okay. Uh, and we are going to um, insert the a. Uh, Okay, we're, we know that these will always have a key. Let's say that. Okay, let's say it like this. Uh, uh, how, are we, how are we doing this? Okay, so this is the uh, min dist uh, nodes. Okay, so in the yeah. Okay, so this is the min dist nodes, and then delete and find min a uh, dist. Equals uh, nothing. Let's just say that this is a map dot delete find min. 
And this Mempty here. So I, we, we cannot figure it out yet. So we're gonna we're gonna assume that this is always gonna be uh, has a node. Okay, what is a node? So n nodes. And it doesn't like that because. Oh, uh, delete and find min, right, okay. Mint is, and then... And then this is no min. Okay. We're gonna do a bit of, like, parity-like programming. Okay, so we have the no min. And the min dist. So then we're gonna say a. We're gonna say is so this is gonna be a node. This is a vertex. Vertex. Okay, so I have to get the no. Yeah. Okay. V. Yes. This is gonna be the node. A, the key and the nays and as the neighbors is gonna be node from vertex v okay A Okay, now I have to check. Uh, so we're gonna... So this is the minimum distance. Um, and we had some more there. Yeah, I'm not sure this will always work because the empty might not be like that. Okay, but we have the the node, the key, and the the neighbors, and this is a list of vertices. Okay. Um, so we're gonna say here. Um, NVS is the map, uh, maybe, maybe vertex from key NS. Okay. So we map maybe the key from, we have to import that as well, from on maybe. Okay, and then we have the neighbors of that vertex. Okay, and, and so the trick here is that this is the minimum distance we've seen so far. Ah, uh, but I can't, I, th I don't think I can do it this way. Let's see. I, I have to kind of remove them, right? That's why it has to be a key. Map of key to... Map of vertex to key. A. Let's do it that way then. Uh, it's going to be... Map vertex start. Map key. And now it's uh, if it's, if it's a list. Um, so I 
delete and so now I can't delete and find min anymore. I was trying to do it with like a priority queue, right? I heard that the one where's the function type second direct goes less naturally. Yeah, kind of like that. But now we we can't write it because we don't uh, we can't specify these. We have to have it inferred. Let's see. Let's just have these as uh, can I have like I have can let's have it not yeah let's have it a uh, rounded node as well okay and then this is um map so it's map dot insert. Uh, what is we say map dot insert uh, and we're gonna say a uh, start a uh, empty on map dot from list a uh, dollar sip uh, no map uh, and we're gonna map over them the max bound of the over the dollar graph dot vertices we need tuple sections for this um so init dist equals this okay um init dist and parent that's the other component here the parent Um, is gonna be map.empty okay uh, so we do the initial distance so this is uh, this finds the um, this is the initial distance of all of them But with the one set to zero. So while Q is not empty, and then okay, we have the uh, set dot from list graph dot vertices graph. Okay, now this is going to be the Q, Q set. <laughs> Vertex in Q with min dist U. Okay, I don't think we actually, we don't need bounded here. So, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We need the monoid node here, an ord node. Okay, uh, no, I'm still writing that extra one. It's a bit, it's a bit tricky, right? So we have the initial distances. That's just gonna be map singleton start empty. Now, okay, so how do we find the, so how do we find that? So while Q is not empty, 
So we have the... We're not going to have this set. This is gonna, just going to be... Graph... Graph dot... Vertices... A... Graph. Okay, so I have the uh, these. So actually, if I have an empty here, I get nothing. Doesn't matter what these are. But go a uh, this parent. Uh, if I have uh, these, this is equal to a. Uh, Find min. I am. What can I do? Sort by. Okay, so here I can take a two, I can take a node A and B. And I can say, um, so, uh, D sort. So this is this sort. And so D sort A, B, uh, dist. D sort dist A, B. Okay, so if just A is in a, so if A has a distance, we do a, a map dist and b has a distance just b a a d b d map dist is equal to a, a d compare a d b d okay Now, um, so if just a, if, if it's only a that has a distance, then we say a map dist. Then, uh, so if, if it's just a that has a distance, then a, compare a and b should return less than, because it's less than infinite. Otherwise, yeah, so otherwise, uh, uh, otherwise, B map this is gonna be greater than, and if neither of them have a distance, it's gonna be they're gonna be they're, they're both infinitely far away. Okay. So this is going to be a um, I mean this is in, this is not efficient cuz it's sorting all the time but it's not good. Yeah, okay, so we have the by dist, let's say mind. So by dist here is going to be This is the, the vertices. Um, so we want the distant parent and then the graph dot vertices of the graph. Couldn't expect a type, actual type. Let's see. Things in a graph, right? Yeah, in the list of vertices. Um, so go here is a um, uh, 
Oh yeah, we can't do uh, deep planet yet. I think this should be keep. Um. Oh no, sorry. This should be this. A. B. This. A. B. Okay, now uh, this is indeed a list of these. Okay, so in it, this is a map of vertex to Mempty. And we look up A and B, and we look up A and B. Okay. So sort by this. This is going to be. So these are vertexes, right? Let's say it was just NVS. Okay, so let's constrain this, okay? D sort. No, we, we can't. Ah, uh, we can't mention the monad no type. Because it's not in scope. So map takes in a map and a key and returns maybe A. Yeah, okay, it returns the maybe A. Now these keys here should be verses and these are the... Oh yeah, these are the... So these are the keys. So these are the vertices, yes. Okay, so this is the smallest and the rest. By sorting by dist. Okay, so we found the one with the uh, min dist. Okay, so we removed. So this is gonna be Q. Okay, and now this is gonna be Q prime. And then we say for each neighbor V of U still in Q. Oh my god. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so uh, NS is going to be a... Uh, okay, so the node, the uh, key, we don't care about the key, and the neighbors is equal to node from vertex S. Okay. Uh, and we have the neighbors. Okay, so uh, 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 NSVs is equal to map maybe vertex from key NS. These are new vertices and uh, Q. Okay, um. Can we just do like this? Um, data dot set. Because I don't think, yeah, because I, yeah, we don't. Okay. So we say, um, Q prime set. Q set prime is equal to set dot from list Q prime. Okay, now we take the new ones and we want the ones which are for each neighbor V of U still in Q. Uh, and in Q is going to be map maybe and then filter map dot member. Uh, no, set dot member flip set dot member a Q set prime okay so we, these are the ones still in queue okay uh, so the the distance okay so now we have to find a s 
So now we're talking about uh, U. So this is going to be U. U. UD is equal to um, map dot okay so we're gonna say case it uh, this map bang u of uh, just if it's in the map then the the Let's map map over this list. Now we need to update the folder and prev and in queue. Okay, so now we have the new vertexes. Okay, so now we have a dist prime prev prime. You go to folder F. We have dist and prev. A so folder and F and then we have the N in Q. Now folder. Alright, we want a Okay, that doesn't matter. Well it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have the B and the T and A. So this here. Oh it's Okay, so let's call this instead of calling it parent, let's call it Prev. What's the delimiter so map? Um, this is the it's to look up in a map, but like I mean, so we could write like this, but then we don't have it scoped. So, I mean, yeah, so we look it up, and if it's there, we get just something, if it's not there, we get something else. Uh, loop. Where loop, uh, so loop, and uh, we have the uh, so we we have the dist and dist and prev equals and then okay. So for the loop, um. Where okay, all equals a dist of u plus length of u comma v. Right, so that's length length of u comma v is exactly a, a node v. So we don't need the V here, I guess. Let's see. Um, so we do first here. Okay, we want to say just a V D, and then we don't care about the key, and we say. We don't care about its neighbors. We say uh, vertex. No, sorry. This is a, this is a. We, can, we always get this. Where a uh, so vd comma I don't care don't care is equal to node from vertex v. Um. This is wrong because there's no use no, word a zero variable. Okay, we haven't used it yet. Uh, so this is um, we get the the node and the b and the key. Okay, so the alt. Okay, so uh, ud is equal to. 
Didn't we already find that? No, yeah, okay, so UD... Just UD. This is gonna be... We're just gonna say just UD here. Because we, we, we should have... We, we have seen some of the graph before. Just UD. Um, we get just UD. This is going to be map. So we can just say UD equals map. This is going to be dist map uh, U. Okay, so we have... All equals a UD. There's a U distance concatenated with VD. Uh, from the context of monoid. Oh yeah, it's called um, U UD. Map and MIDI, right? Oh my god. What is it telling me now? Could not so this V here is an U D V D is a node. Node from vertex V. Right, it doesn't know the type. Uh, so this is gonna be node. But does it know here that uh, I could match node one with node because oh. damn it? Okay, then let's just make this node then an int. We need to know the int. It's a bit sad, but okay. It's because we can't uh, assure ourselves that this is actually the same thing. Node from vertex uh, and Could match expected type, maybe A with actual type A, okay. Oh, right. So it was maybe okay. Let's see. Node. Monoid. Node. Okay, so that one worked. Okay. But this D sort disk could not dislude. Okay, we need ORD node as well. Okay, we're still in the business. Okay, so ALT is a node. Okay, now. If. So we say a case ALT less than a dist v vd equals map dot insert a uh, v a uh, alt a uh, dist comma map dot insert a uh, Uh, 
in the previous one pre me map out insert v a u prev Okay, now we've done the loop and we fold it and this is the disprev, disprev. Then we just check a... Okay. Um, case a goal a just v a just d is the a if you look up dist map goal we don't need we don't need the path i don't i, th I don't think we need the actual path we just need the maybe <laughs> node so if just D is in a list goal, then it's D. So if we found a goal in this prime, I should say. Otherwise. Go this prime prev prev prime uh, Q prime. And now it's not happy with VD. Oh my god. Uh, map dot insert. Oh, alt is a maybe node. No, alt should be a node. Why is it saying this? So, this here. Okay, this. Is a map of ints to maybe nodes. That's not true. So alt here is a maybe node. Which is because it says thinks that UD is a maybe node. And UD is a maybe node because it thinks that this is a maybe this. Um All right. Uh, and it thinks it's all right. Just D. Okay, I think we have Dijkstra down. So if we found it, we just return the disk, otherwise... Let's see, main task one. Okay, let's do task one. So we have the graph. So let's uh, just run... Dijkstra. No, I always type it wrong. Dijkstra. Let me check for feedback, sorry. Oh. So he says he looked first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. It's due at nine oh nine in the morning though. Okay, let's just see if this works. Dijkstra on graph dot graph from edges. Uh, and and map map what happens if i compile this oh main ports itself why do you do it like that yeah and i need a start and a finish okay so, um, 
from just vertex from key 0 comma 0 and uh, the goal is from just vertex from key 9 comma 9 and 9 comma 9 and it's saying yeah this should be maybe int what is it complaining about no instance for monoid int oh my god instance monoid int where mmt equals zero <laughs> okay instance semi group int where non-exhaustive patterns in function loop oh yeah okay so if it's not there error map bang is not a key in element in the map Okay, so we do d sort by dist. Okay, let's try show this actually. I don't think it will show us anything because these are vertexes. That might be an issue. Yeah, these are just the vertex keys. say sorted equals you know show node i need to show key now i let's say uh, map I just want to take the uh, one there, this, oh. Okay. Trace show ID. What do we get for the vertex there? Okay, we get one zero 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 one. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Okay, we sort it by distance. Yeah, okay, let's go back to... So we get the minimum one, okay, and then we get the uh, zero one.
Okay, let's uh, let's uh, see. What is the disk prime develop? So after we should get the um, so we get the distance to zero is zero. So then we get the one, and then we get the, the given map is not an element in the key. Let's just be greedy here and say V equal like this. Right, so this should be this you right uh but this is okay so we have u vertex with min disk u yes so h raver v of u still in q yeah we get the alt at this u and the length from u to v We don't necessarily know that, right? We don't know the length of u to v. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So it's a current, it's a current neighbor, and this is the length. Yeah, yeah, okay. If alt is less than ed, then this v is equal to. Oh, well, thanks for the follow. Oh, apricot rating. That's cool. We're really, really trying to. Uh... Hey. We're trying to implement this, but it's uh, giving us a... Um... Okay, so let's say a... Uh, UD, so let's look it up here, and then... U... Uh, MB UD, hey all. So MB, so UD, so okay. This is alt less than VD. Ah, this is not VD, right. So this is a... So, okay, I, I figured out. So this is UD. Okay, this is... Yeah, okay, so this is... Let me go back here. So this is supposed to be U2D. U2V, okay? Now... And then a uh, alt is a uh, this u u d plus u two v. Now we have the a few cases here. Okay, so let's just write here. This is the uh, update equals. This no update equals this comma prem. Uh, so if alt is less than the distance, uh, so first of all, if we have just vd, a uh, dist map uh, v and alt is less than vd then update okay so, uh, so however 
yeah so if if either yeah so this one is otherwise it's no update i think it should be like this basically we should always update so we get nothing Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, uh, this is gonna be L this L prev. Okay, and then we look up in L this and we insert into L this and we insert into L prev. So no update is L this L prev, right? No, L prev. Why do we end up with the. The trace show the nothing. Okay, uh, we're always showing the node from vertex. We're, we're showing the one we're looking at now. Uh, but. Okay, this one is actually just uh, if we don't have anyone left it's a uh, dist map go actually um But it's saying that this is always from this zero zero. It's like it, it's like the D sort. The this is never growing. Dist prime because we fold R with the loop. Let's check again. So if alt is less than. Okay, so if it's less than the up, then we should update. If VD does not exist, then... Okay, so if there is actually there's two cases here. So if we have that... So if we don't have the distance... It's update. Okay. The other case is that we... So we have the distance, and then if alt is less than vd, this is equal to update. Now, if we don't have the if we don't have the distance, um, then we should update. Uh, so if if we if we have nothing, okay. So no. So and then again like this. So we have the distance, and the new one is smaller than we update. If we have a distance and the new one is larger, then no update. But if we don't have the distance, uh, otherwise equals update. So that means it's an infinite. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got it. We did it. We implemented it. Dijkstra trace show. In a Haskell graphs, that's uh, that's not bad. Okay, we get just forty for the example, which is correct. Now let's do it for the input. But we don't actually wow. Okay, we don't actually look at the path. 
let's see. Um, we could return the path. We get just 42. That seems a bit low, but okay. Oh my god. Let's uh, actually return maybe a list of verdicts. And then this one will be... Let's say a build map a ft a prem uh, uh, but we didn't solve it right didn't we just uh, it didn't work so how do you do the build path build path f from to prev okay is it gonna be a equal to b p prime empty where okay so we say a b p prime a cur path a cur node a t case c n equals equals t is a we add the Cur node to the target, and then we we add the uh, cur node to the cur path, and then we reverse it. Uh, we it, it it's just this. Now, BP prime uh, CP CNT uh, case. Okay, so now CN is not equal to T. Then we don't uh, we need a t still okay so then we say just a just a, a next node a prem a, and we we're looking up a cn map prem uh, so if you find it then it's a bp prime a c n n n so it's a c n a c p a n n t we don't need the t here because we already have it um uh, n n b p this is gonna be What's the current path? Yeah, yeah, okay. What's uh Okay, okay, okay. underscore underscore nothing. If I can't find it. Okay, what's wrong with this one? Can I start in twenty type? Uh no, sorry, it's prev looking up CN. Now a uh, go becomes build path um, build path prev uh, start no build start goal build path prev okay this is going to be uh, if we find it We're actually going to say here build path a we're gonna say a dist map a goal. Now we build path the path of the goal. So this is gonna be maybe a Maybe node, uh, maybe, maybe vertex. Okay, 
here uh, we do we do just the build path uh, start call prep and what's wrong with this one uh all right What does it return? Oh my god. Couldn't expect type maybe int. Right. So what does it give us for the path? Nothing. What? Okay, so the the parent of uh, u is u. Okay. So and then I so I inserted v this. Okay. Uh, then I look up the goal, and if I find it, I return just t. But then build path doesn't work. Okay, so if I am at T, just reverse. Okay, otherwise, so look up the current node and then concatenate it. I don't think I'll be getting any more feedback. I mean, if it's due at nine in the morning and I will get something from someone having a look first thing tomorrow morning, like I might get some feedback. But what are the chances of me being able to act on that feedback? They are not a lot, I tell you. What is going on with the prev here? I insert it. And it's... Uh... All right. We have to do it with the prev prime. No, damn it. What is prev prime here? What do we do? Because I, I implemented Dijkstra, right? It's building the path. My build path function is not giving the right thing. All oh, right, so here I actually have to start at the target. That's how the build pass should work. God damn it. But it should also be with prime prime. Nice. Okay, now let's. Uh, we have this build path. Now let's uh, say uh, 
v comma p is equal to uh, okay so we print uh, v and then we do a if map map may be now we do node from vertex um, map node from vertex over the p And then we want to pick the, the key only. Get so S three F K equals K. Map key is three dot not from works, I guess. Uh, why does it do that? Right, we want the chords. Right, we have more news on the feedback. don't reverse it because we started at the last one okay so it so goes a uh, so it goes uh, zero 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 one zero two. 000102 and then it goes zero one one zero one two three four five six zero one two three four five six and then it goes down one and left one seven three seven four Let's see. So, um, okay, let's, um, let's see, print P. Indices equals a concat map a first over indexed. This is going to be a map, so concat, map concat, so index, it's a list of lists, right? So if I say concat index, then this is going to be, yes map fst concat index so this is the indices now um print path okay so this is just map map first over the indices now a uh, path to str so here we have uh, we have a list okay so if we have the empty list that's the empty string path to string so we have the p and the c's we don't care about it here now we have p uh, we have the empty list and the rest 
we want to say path equals a slash n on path to str no it looks like this so we have the empty list in front of ours so this is going to be a pass the string prs and otherwise it's going to be so a otherwise we have a c c's is going to be a if um, c set dot member p then x x else dot concatenated to path to stir a uh, CSRS P. Okay, now these are redundant brackets. Okay, so this uh, P here. Okay, so um, So this is actually going to be case uh, just p. Otherwise, dot path to str p c s r s. This is a bit. Uh, Okay, so um, we have map or this. Okay, like this. Now I can say uh, path to stir. It's a bit dirty, but. I will allow it uh, in this case. Do uh, v comma p Okay, so we get the three down, and then we go like this. And then we go like this, and there's like two here, yeah? And then two here, and then... Like here. And then we go all the way down. Okay, so we get the exact same path. But let's see what happens here. Oh, right. Didn't we set the goal to be 99? Nine, nine? Yeah, so we want to start at 0, 0. Right, okay. Uh, start equals 0, 0, and equals length. A length. What is it? The X is the uh, length of head of X, comma length of X. 
nums let's say a nums at fn this is going to be a length of a fn minus and this is going to be the length of nums minus one so and then this is going to be from just vertex from key start and it ends at the end right and then it should actually no it takes a lot longer right so what was happening here is that yeah it found us a path uh 299 but it didn't actually go all the way Okay, this is gonna be... Oh! No. Maybe I don't need to... Um, yeah, um, yeah, I can might as well maintain that path. Okay, 46 seconds. And get a nice path, 410. nice okay we got the first one <laughs> god damn it okay now that you know how to find a low risk pass in a cave you can try to find a way out now the entire cave is five times larger in both dimensions than you thought yeah oh no the original map tile repeats to the right and downward each time the tile repeats to the right or downward all the resources close on one level higher than the tile immediately up or left of it what the fuck? Let's say, let me just check one thing. Um, if I just don't. If I just don't ignore building this path, is it still slow? It's a nice path though. I did very generally, right? This is like the extra for... Uh, for... General grass. Which is probably not the best though. Because it's like, it's probably not gonna fuse or anything. Okay, let me let me just change. Okay, so this one didn't help. Okay, so this is general Dijkstra. Okay. Now let's say a uh, int Dijkstra int. Extra. Okay, so this is not going to be a node anymore. It's going to be an int. And we return maybe int. Okay, now this is going to be... Uh, okay, right. So we need this. Yeah, okay. So this map here can actually... Let's go... Let's optimize the first one first. So this map here can be import data a qualified int map as I am. Okay, it's data.intmap, data.intmap. So uh, this one can be I am. Let's call it imap. If this one is an int map. And then um, we can do I am I map, and then we do I map I map 
iMap 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 the D sword takes an int map and key key to ordering and this is also gonna be iMap and this is gonna be iMap let's keep building the path Because we do a lot of lookups in that map, right? So it might as well be as fast as possible. But it's probably... What's probably the worst here is that this uh, sort by cutest is going to be the worst. That's probably... This sort by here is the one that kills us because that's the one we use to pick the smallest one because we don't actually need to sort... Right, we just need um, So what is this queue here? It's actually a list of keys. It's quite a little bit faster with the AI map. Okay, this is a list of keys. Um now we just need a Data on list. Let's see. Uh, let's just do uh. There should be a um, I'm just gonna check. Okay. Because we should be able to do this faster. Um This is a list of keys. The only one that can change is uh, is this. Uh, yeah, okay, but all of them can change, right? Yeah. Okay. At least this one should be. This can be. Oh wait, we can we can fix this actually. Is this sort from ask? list because we've already sorted the list so we know that it's going to be ascending oh but no but it's not the actual it's a different kind of sort okay yeah oh. shouldn't there be like a you know we have like minimum buy but uh, we don't actually get the the index of the minimum, right? Which is the one we would want. And it's because yeah, it's kind of it's a bit hard, right? Because the measure keeps uh, changing.
Let's just do this. So minimum buy. Um, Why doesn't it like it? Right, okay, because I'm returning to use minimum buy like this. Q prime. This is gonna be a. Let's do just set that from list. Okay. Um, okay, let's actually just keep this as a instead of having it a list. Okay, this can never happen. I think. Well, um. Oh, shit, graph isn't there. Okay. Now here we say, just say, Q case, uh, set out null Q. Just delete and now this is minimum buy and uh, q set prime but this gonna can actually be q prime q prime q prime i think this one is uh, slightly better Okay, now it's 10 seconds. That's a lot better than the 45 seconds before. Okay, nice. Um, is there like a date and set? Yes. Okay, so this is gonna be I said from list, and then this is gonna be I said null, and then this is I said delete, I said member, I said member. And this is gonna supposed to be I said key, uh, Let's see. Couldn't expect T zero. I said key. All right. Maybe is it? It's foldable, no? Oh, it's not foldable. Okay. They should be fine. Yeah, okay. It's a uh, twenty percent faster, but yeah, it doesn't really matter at that point. 
probably do the same here. I map and changing this one to I map and this one to I map. Ding 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 ding. ding, ding. This is nice, right? We have a uh, we have Dijkstra, right? And we just need uh, it's very general Dijkstra, uh, and it does it in seven and a half seconds. Uh, so okay, okay, but let's check problem two. So if your original map had some position with a risk level of eight, then that same position of each of the twenty-five total tiles would be as follows: eight, nine, one. Two three nine one two three four one two three four five two three four five six nine three four five six seven. Each single digit above corresponds to the example position with a value of eight on the top tile left tile. Okay, let's just see what happens if I brute force this. Probably gonna be very slow, but let's see. Task two. So process a... Okay, so we have the map. Okay, so but the risk levels are so each time the tile repeats to the right or downward, all of the risk levels are one higher than the tile immediately up or left of it. Okay, right. So it's what mod. Modulus 10 plus 1. Okay, let's just see. Okay, so so we have the nums. Okay, now let's create the, the ones that are like this. Okay, so it's a five times five grid. So uh, let's just define the the grid. A uh, let's see, five times five. So it's gonna be plus one, two, three, four, and plus five. Then it's gonna be one, a uh, one plus two. Uh, one, no, yeah, yeah. No, it's gonna be two, three, four, five, six, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, and it's still, yeah, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's not very nice, but you know. Twelve. Okay, and then there's one more. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, a uh, tile, tile map. Okay, then I do a um,
Uh, so map so Oh, this is just a uh, very very annoying. Okay, so first of all, uh, we're not going to need the ones. Oh, okay, we might need the ones on the side. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me check one thing. Oh, they finally plans. No worries, I think they've um Sorry about this. Okay, cool. Okay, there's something happening with regards to the feedback. That's something. So what is 20? So what is... Uh, okay, so if we just do it this way. It's going to take uh, 25 times 9 seconds. That's a lot, right? That's like four minutes. Uh, but let's see if that's... Okay, uh, so we're gonna have a... We're not going to do the time map this way. Let's uh, do it like this. Um, so, proc. The proc uh, shouldn't be right. It's just hard to just, just pre-process it. Right? Sorry, I'm replying to things. Right. Everybody's uh, there's a lot happening. I don't uh, get it. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. This is my thesis. Uh, no worries. It's gonna be published soon. Okay. So how do I uh, how do I take? So we generate. Proc. So pre pre procs is gonna be a list of lists. Um 
where I map. So I map the rock and then so I'm gonna say map f x plus y on a so map map f x plus y over nums and x is in coming from zero to five and uh, y is coming from zero to five and this one it's not happy with this one it's probably because i didn't close this one now free proct in We're going to say this is not going to be like this. It's going to be concat. All of these. And we're going to concat map. I think like this. And then this should be a list of... Oh my god. Okay. Um, let's see. Where F of a and a plus a n is equal to so every time we add eight to the number it loops around so i think it's just a a a plus so if a less than n then no, if a if n less than a eight less than nine less than or equal to nine, then if a plus n is less than or equal to nine, then a plus n else um, a plus n mod eight. So mod 9 plus 1. Now let's just start with doing the pre -proct. Okay, so now we have a list of list of lists. A quadruple list of lists. No, let's not do it that way. Sorry. Uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, take row from uh, nums. Okay, and then I want to concat map F A uh, where uh, A is uh, to the R where it, A is taken from zero to five. R here is list of ints, okay? R here. Um, so F concat map Let's just run this on the example. Uh, 
This is actually gonna be... Pre-procced? Task to over... Read input example. Map M print a pre procced. Oh, losing it. So five two eight six. It's, oh my god. So one one six five three. B, 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 oh my god. Like this. Okay, one, one, six, five, two. Seven, four, two. Okay, seven, four, two. And then it goes two, two, seven, four, eight, six, two, five, three, three, three. Eight, five, nine, seven. Okay, I think that was one block. Three, nine, six, four, 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 nine, six, one. Oh, I think I just uh, did too many. Yeah, I think it's uh, supposed to be zero to four. Yeah, so then it ends with uh, five, three, eight, six. No, oh, it's supposed to end with four, 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 nine, six, four, nine, six. Oh, okay. Five three eight six seven three nine. Okay, the looping is wrong. It's one higher than it should be. Okay, uh, five 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 one seven two. Five 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 one seven two nine five two eight six. Four one seven. One eight four. Four four. Okay, so this one is correct. Um. Now, um, so preproc nums is this. So I do preproc nums, and then I do preproc transpose of nums and then I transpose that again so 479 479419 okay now we just have this extremely big one oh uh, okay pre procced do 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 Supposed to be nums. <laughs> Here, I don't care about the path at all, actually. I am just going to see what happens when I run this. Let's see how long it takes for the example. 81 oh, it's supposed to be 315 what is the path print v put stir lnp
Oh, well, it takes a lot longer to compute the path to string, apparently. I guess there's more fusion or something. Oh no, it's for the input. Let me just see what how it works. Oh no. Let's see. Let's see. All oh, right. I was trying to find the wrong path. Okay. 315. Nice. Now, what if I don't care about this one? Okay, it doesn't actually matter too much. Um, but what if I... Don't uh, evaluate it even. Okay, so computing the path doesn't really matter so much. Okay, but I'm not gonna print it. <laughs> Let's see. This would should be pretty slow but uh, I mean we are doing Dijkstra it's uh, it's not a super inefficient algorithm I mean so the the way we construct these things that's probably so I mean so the thing is like we could probably you know use there's some self-similarity, right? But the the problem is, I think we um, I think all the weights change. So yeah, I'm not sure that's. Um, okay. Let's actually not have this C set member. Let's have this be um if C set member oh sorry. C set path. Okay. If C set member path, then this I think it would be kind of cool if we did something like uh, else. This is going to be C at X comma Y. And we did something like um, um, nums X Y like that. This is int to digit. Oh, I need to import it. Right, okay, this should work. Um,
Missed the this as well in task two input. Of course, these are. I mean, we're repeating the code here, but whatever. Answer some questions while I run. When did we start it? Ding, 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 ding. Send the F5 here. So we just have to find the thread with all the CPU. But we want to um, here. No, this is the GHC app, a school language server. We have some extensions, we have 8 top and then day 15. Oh, it's been running for 5 minutes so far. Uh, so it doesn't grow linearly, that's for sure. But, uh, what is the time complexity of Dijkstra? So like what what can we find here? So it would be okay if like because uh, all of them change, right? But not all of them equal. Like if if all their weights were just added, we could just pre-compute it. Uh, but because it's only kind of one at a time, then it ends up being. Uh, well, the path is kind of similar, right? Been running for six minutes now. And it took a... Uh, 10 seconds for the no, but if we increase it 25 fold three point seventy five divided by nine We will get there eventually. I think we need to like, we need to memoize it something at some point, right? What is it we can memoize here? We could try to like keep constant track of things, right? I 
I'll give it like 10, 15 more minutes. Uh, but then I'm gonna stop for the day. I need to pack. I'm still waiting for feedback, so. Yeah, I'm not sure what we can, uh, so, I mean, so we should memoize it somehow, right? There's definitely some repeated computation happening. Because the map change, right? But it doesn't change that much, right? Now it's been running so long, I'm kind of scared of shutting it off. That's it. Let's just work in this terminal here. Hmm, okay, we can't... I don't think we can... We can't do it for Dijkstra itself. Could I like, you know, find it in one graph and then just say, okay, sh find the shortest path from, yeah, cause I don't know, um, and Timmy is also warning us, right, that the memoization can go wrong. consuming a lot of memory though that's something Can I like use like a star for like as a heuristic? If I, cause I know the solution to like one of them, I can, uh, but I'm not sure it's guaranteed to work. So three, four, two, two, one, yeah. fun content right we're just staring at the code thinking of what to do 
Ah, I don't know what we're doing. Does anyone have any like ideas? Like how would how do you how do you memoize this? We want that star. I mean, we don't want to run it all night, right? Let's at least copy this. think um i think one of the issues is that we just have a lot of nodes so can we like uh excuse me we want to get to the bottom left can we like compute from the left to Can we like compute from the left to because we know okay we but that's the thing right we don't know that this is the shortest path so we could try like computing the shortest path for the top graph to each of the tops of all the nodes like in one line. Let's see. Maybe I need like something like a uh, Floyd's algorithm, right? Where it like computes the minimum distance between all nodes. Because like the trick is right like if i'm in this route if i'm so let's say i'm uh, this is like yeah so if so computing all the distances between all the points in this map the shortest point shortest path between all points they would be equivalent in all these maps and then all these maps and all these maps, all these maps, and all these, and all and this. Let's see. Let's keep this running. But let's just see. Um, indices. Okay, so... Uh, Pairs equal concat indices. Concat indices. And how do I compute all pairs? I do a, a comma b where a comma a is taken from k 
concat indices and b is taken from concat indices so this is uh, all the pairs the shortest path between uh, okay Okay, this one is not gonna finish. Let's break it up. Okay, task 2v2. Let's run that task 2v2 on the example. Now, uh, we ran the Dijkstra and uh, so let's call it run Dijkstra I don't really record it correctly. Lauren Dijkstra. Uh, star and equals. Let's call this map is equals to this. Uh, This is going to be graph from edges, MP, and start to end. VP is run, Dijkstra. Uh, okay, so then we don't need this. We don't need this. So num, it's going to be nums at fn run Dijkstra equals mp is run text that mp what, what did we call it and map map and map map um, and then it was yeah this was a uh, start and end okay so uh let's Let's just compute it this way. So concat so pairs. Uh, this is pairs of ints, and then it's run dijkstra uh, and map map uh, a b. So how long does it take us to generate the list of these? Pairs. So and then we're just gonna say um, map m. We're gonna do a a. So this is gonna be a comma b. That's the pair comma a. We don't care about the value and the p. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna say print a comma b. So let's just see. Call this a pair. Print pair footster ln p over a. Task two v two. Uh, pair pass. It doesn't like it. Uh, why not? Actual type int uh, comma int. Maybe int. Maybe list of vertex. Yes, okay, and it's because I don't do path to string. So 
So I will say Full P to S is equal to path to stir over F map. So this is gonna be like this P uh, indices. Full P to S. Yes. A concat map. Preproc pairs, and this is gonna be full P to S over run Dijkstra. Now this is a mis yeah okay. Pair pass could match type factory type A one A. Oh yeah, so it's P. That's a pair, and then um, what is it saying? Oh, okay. So it's a, so it's a comma b, comma like this. Okay, yeah. Let me just print a comma b. Let's just see how long this takes for. Uh, All the combinations of points. I mean, printing takes a long time. But now we see that so this is a point path from this point to this point. Let's just print V here. A comma B comma B. To see how long it takes to print all the. Like without the printing, let's just print the sum of all of the pairs. Okay, it takes us three seconds. To find all of the pair paths. Okay, um, but I don't really need the pair pass, I just need the edge pairs, right? So I'm going to say here, um, just path D D D task we do. So what, what, so this is concat indices, concat indices. So where the indices are the indexed. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. Um. Path pairs is going to be 
um, x comma y where uh, x is taken from so path pairs equals a uh, path so uh, edge indices equals um uh filter is edge indices where is edge x comma y is equal to x equal to zero or x equal to nine uh no sorry well these need to be general um x equal to zero or x equal to a uh, fsd end or y equal to zero or y equal to s and d and uh, filter is edge a dollar concat indices now i don't because i don't i don't just need to go from edge to edge okay uh, so now we do the pairs but we do edge indices Uh, yeah, it's just because I need to do it like this. Okay, so now let's compute for the edge indices. Okay, that takes us uh, half a second only. Now let's um, let's just print that again. That was nice. Map M A V. And then we did something like uh, print a comma b a put stir ln p okay so right so this is uh but i don't oh this is like from the Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we filter the edge indices. So that is, it is edge x, y. And uh, now we say diff edge pairs equal. So this is going to be uh, a comma b. A comma B, where A is taken from edge indices, B is taken from edge indices. So this is like A, a at x1, y1, then B at a, x2, y2. And we want to make sure that x1 is not equal to x2 and And y1 is not equal to y2. And then we just take a comma b from diff edge pairs. Okay, so this is how the shortest path from edge to edge, right? This is from nine nine to zero five, and um, now this is also twice as many as we. Why did we? We lot we took <laughs> took us longer now. Uh, diff edge pairs, and then we want to say. We want to remove dupes uh, Yeah, so we want to remove the duplicates, right? Because nine, 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 
99 to 0.8 is going to be the same as 0 0.8 to 99 because it's a double-edged uh, graph. And no dupes equal. Uh, so we're going to say uh, nub by So I think we do nub by a uh, just do nub. Okay, so uh, so where a uh, canon so sort pair a uh, a comma b is equal to a comma uh, if a less than b then a comma b else b comma b b comma a so we do a map sort pair and then we do sort and we do nub okay so then we have a Eight nine nine eight. We should have uh, let me just uh, open this out file. Zero zero two nine three nine four nine five nine six nine seven nine eight nine nine one nine two nine three nine four nine five nine six nine seven nine eight nine nine right Okay, so now this is the shortest path between two edges. And these are going to be the same. all of the F's, right? have like a
Okay, now we had the um, we had the pre proc right, which was um, so let's uh, let's change this. Okay, so not let's not uh, like a concat uh, blah blah blah. We just take in uh, n and we don't do the concat we don't do any of this thing we just do a um, map map f uh, maybe a there's gonna be this map uh, f uh, nums Actually, I'm going to flip it and say A nums A and it's going to be A. No, and this is going to be a still nums actually. Okay, uh, but pre proc, okay. Okay, so we're going to generate all the pre procs by saying. Um, map so pre procs equals a uh, map a uh, map pre proc nums uh, two uh, zero two nine and they will wrap after that right so these should be all of them Okay, so let's actually do like a task v to v task to big nums equals where uh, so we're gonna take the preproc function here where okay we take the preproc function and we are gonna say map. Uh, so pre proc is equal to a pre proc yeah map uh, let's see we're gonna map a uh, pre proc nums to zero to nine and this is gonna be a map task to v2 to pre prompt so then we have a list for all of the numbers okay uh, so for all of the pairs in all of them let's just uh, that that's good that scales linearly so that should be nine times four uh, let's do task v2 so what does this do task v2 3 uh, print and then let's just because uh, this is a list of list of pairs so print dollar sum Color map, yeah, it's the same. Uh, this is this pair pass. Yeah, so task two, three, two, three. Uh, why is it? Now we have to. I do it like this. Okay, so this is gonna be a list of lists of pairs. Okay, so we actually yes. 
map uh, i comma i comma prepregnums i this no let's not do that we can just sip it again okay we do like this and we want to get the uh, a b that has to be three uh, we do print dollar sum dollar map okay so to pair paths here task 2v2 big it's called pair paths here is a list of list okay so we say a concat pair paths and then map this one we don't care about a we don't care about b we don't care about v don't care about the path and I am actually going to make this a bit easier I'm just gonna say int here and that's gonna be fine uh, and we do that by saying that this one should be int by this one is maybe int run dijkstra and run dijkstra takes in this and returns the maybe path and maybe vertex and uh, maybe okay so uh, um hmm. I'm just gonna map uh, a comma b just v e p to a comma b comma v comma v comma p actually It just accepts that? No. 178. Yes. And there's no complaints at all? No? Okay. Do I just sum up the cost of all the paths between all the edges just to see how long it takes? 2.5 seconds Okay, um Let me check on my feedback Okay, now now we do the memoization, right? And we have to see here, okay. Like we always have to go through one of these um and we also have to go one through one like we can't we can like skip i guess like from corner to corner no we can't go diagonally so we always have to go through each of these sectors
Okay, so that... Okay, so the shortest path from here to here, right, is the same as... So we compute the shortest path from, from zero, 00 to all the edges. Okay. And then we, we look up the shortest path from any of those edges to any of the uh, other edges. We have like here, and then we have all of these edges. But they will all be the same, no? Okay, we'll be slightly different. Let me see. Okay, now I'm a bit stuck, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we go from zero zero to any of the edges. Okay, um. Okay, then we can kind of forget, um, to, uh, yeah, okay, let's see. So let's kind of try and consume this edge list here. So we have nums uh, edge to edge nums equal so okay where e to e to e equals add task to big uh, nums okay so for the uh, so for the first one uh, f we have a so we do like this we do a um, okay so we do like this uh, e to e okay so we do edge to edge um so 
So the current offset is a zero. And that doesn't actually matter. Um, I mean, uh, okay, because we don't have to return the path, I think. So we have that, we have the current zero comma zero comma zero. And then we have the E to E. Okay, so let's look at it uh, edge to edge prime. Okay, edge to edge. Okay, if we're looking at the, so we have the cur uh, costs. Okay, and we ha we're looking at the last one, LPS. Um, then we want to. We want to find those. Uh, so, in this case, we want to find those that. So, where? Uh, go to. So the. Go to. Mm, uh, the edge. Uh, go to so this is n go to n let's filter uh, this LPS here this is gonna be until you find the uh, the LPS here ah uh, this is edge to edge prime All right the LPS here are like at E2E. Okay. Why does he want to do this? Edge to edge is not like this. So edge to edge takes in a list of uh int comma int comma int two and it takes in a list of uh, edge to edge prime okay and it takes in a list of the e to e's which is gonna be a uh, this excuse me let me just copy paste it list of list of e's and I will just say it returns the int. Now then the LPS here is going to be a list of int to int. Okay, so we're going to say g, g to g to e. We're going to filter. We're going to filter on a comma b. And then we don't care about the path we found. Where um, where a equals n or b equals n of the LPS? Okay, so this is a g to e. So these are the ones that go to the n. Okay, now I have the current cost of arriving at the edges. Okay, so I have to say... Um, Uh, 
Okay, so I have to say here. Okay, so I go to the edges. Um, this is a curve cost. So let this be not a. It should be a a map of income in. Singleton is like this. Okay, uh, so we filter, we find the ones that go to the edge. Um, I just say. These are the ones that go to the edge. Um, So either of these is equal to the end. So let's see. Let's uh, just do like this instead. Map maybe. If a equals end. Then a just a comma. And we just care about the value here. V. Oh, okay. R then just a comma R else if B equals end then just B comma R else nothing a B S. So these are the the ones that goes to the end. Now uh, let me actually um, we can we can do so if a is, is equal to the end. So I can actually I can just look up the current cost. So the so this is the other edge to a then a. Uh, Let's actually do this. Yeah, you know, where a e q e equals map f f yes. So f equals um so uh this one takes in it takes in a comma b comma v p okay now case a a equals end and a just c is the map dot bang let's see a we look up in cur costs, we look up A. So then this is going to be an int. So the total cost of getting to the end from that one is going to be just a... So we say which one we picked and we say... Um, yeah, we don't have, we don't carry around it. So we just say V plus C. I don't care about the path here. Okay. Same if B equals the end, except then we look up Kirk costs map bang B equals just B V plus C. Otherwise equals nothing. Okay, and then we say a uh, map maybe of these. So now these are going to be this and then we find the smallest cost here so we sort by a compare on snd we import this one a g2e 
and then this is going to be min to and then whatever because we know we know if we can get to all the edges right so it's going to be fine this is going to be min uh, and then we don't actually care about the coordinate we just care about the value okay so if we're at the end we do this Maybe this should just be um, <laughs> okay. So which one was it? So this is just a and so this is just from a to b plus c. Okay, let's just actually. Um, Okay, we're going to do it the other way around. So this is going to be... Okay, we're going to say... This, this is going to be... And we're, going to sort of, sort of, we're just going to say map maybe here. Okay, so if we're, if we're at the end, we, we, we can figure out how to, so the cost of getting from all the edges to the end. Now, um, it's going to be exponential, but that's fine. Edge to edge prime, cur costs. Okay, um, we're not at the end, but we're at the beginning. So then we have LP, LPS. Maybe this should be uh, not uh, incoming. This should be a map like this. A map of uh, in. Okay, so uh, we get the. Um, Okay, now let's actually... Hmm. So here, we're not gonna... We actually don't care about the current costs, I think. Just say... Uh... Okay, so here I say, um, 
where uh, costs equals um, I'll recursively call it edge to edge prime LPS. So then I know the costs for getting uh, from from all of the starts to all of the edges. Okay. Um, We, we, I think we only just we just care about left edges. We're always going from left edges to the right edges. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work out. You're kind of missing, like, how to tie the knot, right? Yeah, but I think we should still, a uh, let's drop the paths right away uh, here. I think we should do, yeah, we should drop the pads. Let's drop them here. Okay, we're gonna need them for debugging, so let's keep them around. You get what I mean? Like, we're always going from, from a left edge to a right edge. So then, we, when we sort, let's do that in sort pairs. Sort pairs. So this is going to be uh, if x1, y1, x2, x2, comma y2. Let's see if x1 equals zero, then x. A at B at okay. If x1 equals zero, then if x1 equals zero or y1 equals zero, then A else, then A comma B, and we know that they are so these are edge pairs, so um, otherwise it's going to be B comma A. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so I guess I think I have to like up uh, know the value of the H. I have to also know the value of the edges actually. The from int to int. So it isn't enough to do these into int. For task 2v2, it actually has to... Uh, I think we, we actually also need to know the value of that uh, node. Let's uh, remove it here. Okay, so I have this one, okay. And I want to kind of stitch for these. And they're always the same, so it doesn't matter if I go left and down, or down and right. I will, yeah. They're like mirrored also, I think, um, but I'm not, no, but it might, might matter actually. Okay, let's uh, write that then. Um, how do I stitch two of these together? So yeah, that's the thing, right? That's why I need the... I need the value of this node as well. Let's say type chord equals int comma int. Just to make it a bit brief. Chord. What is it complaining about now? This is fine. Oh, okay. Type risk equals.
Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have the pass. I'm gonna drop it here. But there's already a parser here, okay. That explains. When does this... Okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm only gonna take the edge edges this, but I'm not gonna take the diff edge pairs. No, I want different edge pairs, yeah, but I'm not gonna take only the, yeah, okay, I want the different edge pairs. Okay. The stitch nums um, and then whatever this is. Nums and then this is um pass equal. Okay, so I have the numbers. Actually, I have a different pair of numbers. Uh, I'm just gonna.
I guess they'll have feedback or maybe maybe it came an email. going to quit for today are you just gonna run this Say git commit em. I'm going to push it, I'm going to run it. Um, And uh, I'm just gonna let it run because it's. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not figuring out, you know, how to do the memos. I think the trick is like you compute the edges to edges, and then instead of having to p find between every single point, you always just kind of jump. Um, but uh, it's not. It's not coming to me how to finalize it right so what i'm thinking is okay let's look okay so if i if i have zero and i know how to get to all the right edges okay then going from those to the new areas i can i can figure that out right by just adding one point everywhere okay and then i'm in the new area But I'm thinking like that's still that's still a lot of points. Right? I'm not I don't know if that's any better. I get from that to the new area, okay, and then I can get from though and then I Maybe I, if I just do it recursively, right? So, let me see now. I think I got it now. So, I, I can find the uh, pre-processed ones. Okay. Um... And then, so, so if I go from, so I, I look at the first zero to, so I filter out the ones that start at zero to zero. That's also the, the, the stupid thing. Like I don't, um, okay. So let's just do here a uh, left edge. Okay, I, I think I think I've normalized how the we did that, right? So it always like the the smaller number is always on the left, right? The zero zero is always on the left, and then zero one, zero two. Okay, so let me let me check. Okay, so I have the task to bigs and I have these ditches. Okay, 
This is the edge to edge. So I map task to big. Map the pre proc to. Okay, so. Um... And just say pp p a e to e now e to e equals this okay so we have the lists here okay then i do um So this is going to be the zero and then the rest. Okay. E to E just to have the type there. E to E is zero and then the rest. Okay. Uh, zero to edges. This is going to be... Um, that was this map f function from before we were doing in edge to edge. Map f. Uh, uh, from edge to from edge and then edge and then a uh, piece and then e2. E2, this is E2 E's. Let's call it that. E2 E's. And then from each. Okay. This is equal to. Um, let's see. Oh, this is. If this is. Uh, yeah. So this is going to be as said. So it's going to be listed. Okay. So this is going to be. And A comma B comma V. Okay. Um. So from edge of this, if it's a, if you don't have any edge, we do like this. From edge. So here we can get the from edge edges. Okay. So then we do uh, fr zero equals a uh, from edge zero comma zero. Um, so this is like this pairs 
pre-proc, yeah, okay. So we do pre-proc, pre-proc, map task to pre-proc, uh, let's do sip, pre-proc, dollar, map, task me to, there's going to be a pair of int, So this is going to be um, set to R. So okay, from edge. So we're going to say here um, ATKS. So we're going to say ENS. Right now, this is going to be a nums, it is map maybe ETGS. Okay, uh, right, so this is the, so this is so from edge to another edge. Okay, so from edge. Zero to zero comma zero uh, on said um, this is gonna be um, okay then we have a list of what it costs to get from zero to the other edges now let's just re let's just uh, scratch, scratch this and do fr zero here. Okay, so this is the cost of getting from zero to any of the other edges. Okay, and you can get from uh, one nine to one zero, right? That's how you get. Uh, that's how you get over it. Okay. So we know how to get from zero. Let's map into int. So okay, fr zero to next inch. So this is gonna be n zero comma z. And this is just gonna be. We're not gonna care about that here, actually. Okay, from zero to next edge, we have this map of int to int. So we do a logo map with key. Uh, 
map a function over all values of the map. So now I want to like do an update, something like that. Okay, that doesn't happen in a map. This is gonna be for zero to next edge. No, from zero to next edge is map dot to from list of. So we map. Okay, so let's just write the so two other edge uh, a comma b equals okay if a equals nine then it's a a and then it's a zero comma b and the value of it is actually a um, We also give the nums here, and the value is a nums of zero of b. Else, it's the other one. It's so else it the a is okay but this one is zero and it's a gonna be a zero okay two other edge nums so um fr zero to next edge um so we have the these a, a equals map f2 fr0 where f2 okay fr fr edge to next edge so we do nums and we do a uh, edge so far and that's map uh, f2 x so far where f2 equals undefined so this is for edge to next edge this is just going to be a um, for now, we're going to say N0 and uh, FR0. Map dot from list. Okay, map F2. Uh, so this is going to take in the nums. Okay, so we say uh, F2 takes in a, a the edge. A e and the value of getting there so far equals a um where o e uh, o e v equals a o e comma v plus o e v equals to other edge nums e 
Okay, so now we've gone and we've jumped one step. Now, uh, to get to zero one, right, we have to go, we go to, um, all oh, right, so nine nine has two ways it can go to a righteous actually. Does it? Yeah, it can go. If A equals nine, so this one has to be and B equals nine, then we have to go to the both the edges where E one. E2 equals the uh, a comma zero comma nums a b then so then it's gonna be e1 comma e2 else if a equals nine and e1 else e2 well, at least have to be Okay, from edge to next edge. <laughs> these are actually, these are the only ways to get to, to those. Uh, okay, so. Okay, uh, so so I get the so the F two. So here I have the edge, and I have the uh, so this is gonna be this is actually gonna be um, map. A V plus F mapped over to other edge nums E. So from edge to next edge. Yes, okay, now. Okay, uh, slightly longer, but okay. So we originally had, I think this one is, if we get to 99, we can get 40. Now, if we take one more step, we can't go to zero, zero again, right? Because we can't go diagonally, uh, but we can go from 40 to a zero so so nine nine can go to nine comma zero or zero comma nine yeah so that's 41 
Yes. And then we can go to 0, 0,9, which is 42, which should match the, yeah, uh, yeah, that's two, right? Okay, so now we've computed how to get from here to any of kind of these edges. From edge to next edge. Concat map. Okay, so it's going to take a list of list of nums and the list of list of int bees. now okay so we haven't actually gotten this far so now we've gotten from here from all of these from zero to all of these okay and then now from all of these do one more step into the next quadrant now It's just not so practical for. Um, we took one step. Oh wow, we've been here for four hours. This has gone on way too long. Let me see. So, what can I do with this? So I know how to get from these edges to the next edges, right? Okay, so what if I find now the kind of the, the shortest path from each of these. To each of the other edges. Where did I use this FR0? Okay, this is from edge to next edge FR0. And then I jumped one edge. Okay, um, so if I map this, uh, now if I map, let's have it from edge to the other way around. Okay, oh, okay. So now I have this here. Mm. 
Okay, so now let me take these edges. Where, where are these? Yeah, these are a list of instruments P. So, a uh, loop. Okay, we are going to take a number and a, and a grid. Okay, with the rest. And then we're going to take the curves. Cur shortest. Now, uh, we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, so we're going to say... Um, it's going to be flip from edge uh, G. So that's going to be a uh, function from... Uh, and define. So, where F, F, E equals flip from edge now this FFE takes a list and uh, right okay so it takes in the list so the loop here is gonna be um, it's gonna be this monstrosity okay but we don't care about that um, Okay, so we take this and we, for the curve shortest, what are the curve shortest? That is the result of this. So that's a list of ints to int. So a map. Uh, so we have the CS, 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 V to uh, C, CSV. Okay, so we're actually just gonna go to a uh, map CSV plus dollar uh, FFE CS. Uh, no. Over FFE of CS. Over the cur shortest. So now this returns a list of list of the shortest. Um, where uh, take paths equals so this is the the idea here is okay i flip the from edge okay i uh, so i have the, sh the sh current shortest and the value of getting there i flip it i i find the uh, i do the from edges and the from edges gives me the value of going from one edge to the next one in in this yeah in mean, this like list of paths okay uh, giving me a this so this paths this is like the list of uh, for each shortest um kind of the the, the cost of getting to the next edges. Okay. Um, so I think that we can do here CS. We can have this be CS comma. This no. I want to see us here. Like this. And this compiles. Okay, so now this is a list for each of the shortest. 
Uh, what, co what it costs getting from that path to all the next ones and the total cost of getting there. So it's going to be Okay, so I think I have to I don't take the CS here, but I am okay. So this will be the the cost of getting okay. So then and then I do a so this is actually a concat map. Okay, so this is going to be a a list of A B's. Okay, and a lot of these A's will be the same. Uh, so I want to do um, So for each of the new edges I want to find the shortest path there I should be able to do a sort by compare on first. So we group by compare on first. A group by equality on the first okay and then I do map minimum by compare on S and D minimum by and then this will be the list of the minimums of, of getting to the next one. Okay. Um, so then I have the, the paths taken. And then we want the... Um, yeah, and then we just do the... FR, so I think it's uh, just a uh, FR to next is going to be FR edge to next edge of the numbers and the take paths. So the types here match up. Um, and can this be? Uh, and then I just loop uh, R to next. Okay, uh, but I want uh, if I don't have anything left to do. Actually, um. Yeah, if I ha if I'm on the last one, I want to do something different. Uh, N nine, N nine comma G nine, because then I don't want to take the next step per shortest. 
I still want to take all the paths by doing the FFE. Where? I still want to take all the paths undefined. And then this is going to be G9, and this is going to be yes. But a take paths. I just want to do a map dot from list a, or a list dot lookup. I think I can just do lookup. Um, and it's going to be a length. It's going to be N9 at N91. Is it okay, N91. It's going to be length of N91 minus 1, comma, length of N9. So this is going to be. Oh my god. This is going to be a. Not loop, but look up. A take pass. Uh, and I think how do what's the type of lookup? Yeah, okay. And it should be there from just so this does not start at one zero, but it starts at. This one actually starts um we go loop R and we start at uh we start at this one actually. Loop a uh, R I'm just running for the example. One forty eight calling from just and it doesn't work. Oh, look up and take pass. Okay, let me just see what the um take pass here return actually. I mean I found something. Oh yeah. Just two forty four, that's not it, right? Three hundred and fifteen. Can I just uh, do here a loop E to ES and say zero comma zero comma zero? Okay, that's actually, yeah, that's something, but then. Um, Mm 
Okay, this one uh, doesn't work though. But let's just see how fast it is on the input. If we're like, if this is super slow anyway, there's no reason to try and improve it, right? Okay, so this one is also slow, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, it's still super slow, not doing anything. So we're gonna... Yeah, let's cancel this one. Uh, referring to anything wrong yeah I mean this is also like it doesn't actually do it right so it gets the example wrong and it doesn't do it so it's just uh... anyway it was worth a try right like figuring out the shortest path blah 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 and then I was taking the jumping. But actually, it finds the shortest path from zero to the points on the other maps. And I think it gets screwed up. Um, yeah, it's because it's, it's returning a shorter path. And it's probably because it's not okay to just jump. But we still should, still should have uh, fewer edges. Doesn't work. We don't consider that going down then right is not the same as right right and then down. 
Okay, but they go to the next one. That's I think that's fine. could do something right i think this could be a solution you kind of do it like that you don't compute again and again all right but uh, it doesn't work so let's just uh, call it a day for now i need to do stuff let's just run the task two on this I'm just gonna run the big one and uh, all right thanks for tuning in it was a four and a half hours nothing happening mostly uh, which is not that great but uh, thanks for tuning in anyway all right bye bye